I'm Glenn Nugish 360 this is an Atma 5 tutorial video and this time hopefully it will be slightly more helpful than the last. Um, I actually just finished recording a video for about 10 minutes and it turns out my microphone powered off and because it's connected to an Xbox wireless controller it decided it didn't want to be on anymore so now I have to re-record but hopefully that means I'm slightly more prepared this time. Um, so the main question that came up last time was loading in files. Um, you can load them in individually. A D2S file is a Diablo 2 save file, so your characters. D2I is an item file, which you can export from Atma. Uh, D2X is a stash file, which is a collection of items. And DUP is supposedly an Atma 5 dupe detection database. So I don't generally use it, so I'm not going to be able to give you any information on it, other than it has something to do with duping and backups. Um, but I prefer just to load directories because it detects everything rather than having to load files repeatedly. Um, so if you want to load any Diablo 2 characters you've got, you'll generally be in uh, C drive, program files, and then Diablo 2. And there should be a subfolder called save or saves, which should contain all your Diablo 2 characters. And just clicking OK will give you a full listing of them and they should all have their inventories and mercenaries and skills with them. Um, despite the fact that Diablo uh, Atma 5 lists game edit options, and it lists a lot of game edit options, I cannot find a way within Atma to actually cause it to have an effect on um, your actual character, or to even allow you to edit it. Um, because you can't edit any of these fields that can't be affected at all. I'll admit this character's gone through Hero Editor, which is a program that actually can edit um, your characters. The only thing you can seem to edit about your character is its name, um, which isn't that helpful, really. Um, you can edit your mercenaries' items, you can edit any items on your corpse, so if you die, presumably, you can move them uh, over to your regular inventory without having to go and find your corpse, which isn't always the funnest thing to do. Um, so this is the basic um, layout for Atma. Uh, this should be what you see minus the characters when you load up Atma for the first time. Um, for reference, I'll provide an Atma download link and a download link for Hero Editor as well in the YouTube description. Um, so basically, this is your inventory, a um, generalized summary of it. Um, when you right-click on an item, you get uh, options to delete or remove it permanently. Obviously, view will give you this item property window, which you can permanently enable by clicking on item property up here. And just anything you click on will then give you uh, an item property view up here. But for the purposes, I generally just disable it. It's not that useful. Um, so another question that came before was duplicate items. And at the time, I didn't think it was possible. But it turns out you can duplicate items through Atma 5. Um, if you right-click on any item you want and then click Export, I created a custom folder called Items within my Atma directory, which is C program files Atma 5 Atma config, and it you save it as a D2I file, which is an item, and then you can either right-click and import it uh, just within the inventory, gives you one copy of it uh, on top of the one you already have, or you can load a D2I file, which you can then uh, make multiple copies of. I've messed that up slightly, but there we go. You can then copy multiple versions of it over. And I now have four of these bows. And I don't think I even wanted one of them, to be honest with you. Um, another important point is, if you edit anything uh, about a character, a stash, an item, always click Save All Ops Up. Or you can save them individually if you like, but just make sure they get saved, otherwise uh, you can lose items. Uh, things can go wrong, basically. Um, I tend to find a good rule of thumb is if you've opened it, just save it. doesn't cost you much. Just a bit of time, a few seconds. And it could save you problems in the long run. I'm just going to get rid of these. I really don't want them. Right. I'll keep one for purposes. Um, so when you originally get them, it's not going to come with any stashes loaded. Uh, when you do have them, you can load directory and go to your Atma directory and you'll find stashes in there after you've created them. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume you don't have any stashes. So I'm going to go up to Utility and click on New Stash. And then create a name for the stash folder called Items. And if you set the path 
to your at my directory, it's just easier. You can create a subfolder called stashes if you prefer to keep things organized. And if you remember, the at my directory is C program files atma5 or atma config. Well, it's not necessarily C, I suppose. It depends what hard drive you've installed atma on. But whichever one you install it on, you'll have a directory. And I just use atma config. I don't create a subdirectory. I'm not that organized about it. So if I click OK, oh, already exists because of my last video and I called it items. So I'll call it items 2. And you'll be met with this. This is a stash window. It's a D2X file which just stores a list of items. So I will put my bow in there just by dragging it over and dropping it in. And the tree view gives you a categorized view by type, which is good if you're looking for a specific piece of gear for your character. But I tend to use the list view for just general purpose because it's easier to drag into and drag out of and it's just an alphabetical list. If you toggle the extra display what you're going to get is well I think it can load up two items for comparison and I'll put another item in just to test that. I know they're identical copies but um, that'll give you a comparison of two items. Um, no I can't put it in a shield slot. Right. So I can compare a bow and a piece of armour. I, I don't know why I would want to compare a bow and a piece of armour. See if they're compatible. See if they match as an outfit. I don't know. But uh, it can be relatively useful. I tend to leave it off because I'm not generally doing much comparison. But if I was, I would use that. Um, once again, save for stashes and then you can close it. Um, so uh, other than that, we have in Atma the ability to... Um, well, you can create a new character as well, but that's basically the same as doing it through Diablo 2, except you don't have to load Diablo 2. You create a class, well, you give it a class, you say whether it's expansion or hardcore, you give it a name, and as long as you put it into your Diablo 2 saves directory, it'll load up um, instantly into Diablo 2, as far as I'm aware, unless your Diablo 2 installation is kind of weird. I'm not judging. It could be. I've just created that character. I really didn't mean to, but that's fine. I have a character called Pond Nublar, and it's an Amazon. Right, th th that can just sit there. It's fine. Um, another thing you'll notice, if you've edited a file this time when it's been open in Atma, it'll, the icon will change. That's just to let you know if you've opened a file or accessed it in any way. And if I load up my regular Atma stuff, so if I go into Atma config, uh, those are all the stashes they would normally have. Just a demonstration of what a stash when it's a bit more full looks like. I just picked the biggest one, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so when it's full, as far as I'm aware, the item count is limitless. If it's not, I haven't hit the item count yet. And it'll just store infinite copies. Once again, you can't edit items, as far as I'm aware. If it is, it's up there with the editing characters. I can't find the setting for it but you can duplicate them, you can move them around. Atma 5 is effectively a program to add to the mule. Um, it's very useful for that, certainly. I mean, I use it in most of my videos to store items that I don't currently need, but I might need. So if I'm trying to do a run without actually affecting anything, I'll create a separate stash for that character. And I know anything I take out of there is something I've had at some point. It's not um, an item I've just taken. Um, Another feature of Atma, it has a dupe detector, and if I can find that, um, if you load in a character file, it'll tell you if any of the items within it have been duped. I'm not entirely sure how active it is, because this is a duped character completely, and it um, doesn't really seem to be detecting anything, so I wouldn't put much store by what it says. But maybe that's because I don't have any dupe backup database file, DUP files. Maybe they help in some way. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, you can also dump character files. I'm not sure why you would want to, especially since I don't have anything loaded right now. But it dumps it to a text file, basically, which contains all the information about your character. Unfortunately, you can't edit this. Otherwise, there would be the way to edit through Atma, but it just doesn't seem to work that way, unfortunately. Um, that's most of it. There is stuff for Drop Calculator, but I don't know how to use it properly. I've never had much success with it. But you might, I can't tell you how to use it, but that's what it looks like. If anyone finds out how to use it, feel free to leave a comment or a video response to show people how. But 
I myself do not know how. The first time I tried, I clicked done instead of search and wondered why it didn't work. I'm not really sure why. Um, there's a huge list of things. Uh, Wolf Ed. Oh, there we go. It's actually working this time. Okay, then. So those are the, the drops, the area, and the name of the monster that drops them, and your probability. If I try and sort it by probability, I probably should have... So, never mind. The probabilities are generally quite low for a wolf head to be dropped of any grade. Okay, I feel well informed now. Um, I don't think autosave actually prevents you from having to save, because I still have to, but I could be wrong. I could just be being paranoid about it, but it's better to be safe there. Um, Bank of Atma, I have no idea. It doesn't even seem to load anything when I do it. Oh, it just likes to prove me wrong. It's obviously for gold transfer, then. Um, I swear, last time. It must be when you have a character open, then. Because um, if I try and close that, it probably won't work. There we go. I'm not paranoid. Well, no, I am paranoid, but I'm not crazy. It didn't work last time because there was no character open, because I was preparing for a recording. Um, at any rate, that should be most of that. I explained this time. I think I've covered everything. Um... This uh, tutorial should be better than the last one at any rate. Um, I've tried to plan out a little bit ahead of time. Um, granted, I'm still doing it on the fly, but at least I looked through Atma beforehand to make sure I knew what most of the important features did and how to achieve them, which I didn't actually do last time. I just uh, showcased how I would be using it as opposed to how it would look to someone who was just starting out with Atma, which was, ironically, who the tutorial was actually aimed at. Um, but it should have been clearer, at least. I think it went better than last time. If for any reason it didn't, uh, leave me a comment, tell me why, tell me how I could improve. If it needs to be, I can record another one of these tutorials, which would make it three on the same program, which isn't good for my self-esteem. But um, anyway, that is everything to do with Atma that I can think of right now. This has been a tutorial by Gunnig360, and I will be back with more videos at some point in the future. Bye for now.